I was uh, on my motorcycle and somebody didn't yield and next thing I know I'm about a month and a half later I'm waking up in the hospital. It's always been an outlet for me, it's, it's music. I would sit in the loft at my grandmother's house and play the cello for hours. There were so many emotions I was experiencing and not really knowing how to articulate that. And um, painful moments I didn't want to share with anybody. And the cello allowed me to do that without using any words and it was incredible. So this opportunity means a lot to me. I worked mainly on the shoulder mechanism and how that was going to be able to work and how Shannon would be able to move the shoulder mechanism, manually move it herself. And the only thing that we would have to customize for other individuals would be whatever plate they need for the body or whatever residual limb that they have. So everything else can be pretty much streamlined for any individual. It's been a really rewarding experience to be able to have her hold that cello again and take her over to the concert hall and just see her face light up and working one-on-one, -on -one, we've really had gotten to um, prove that design can change lives. Hi, Mama. <laughs> it's another one of those, one of the very few things on the bucket list, the undoable bucket list that I've been able to check off. So the, the hope that it's given me to accomplish that is incredible, it feels great. And even more importantly, what makes me feel really good is that other people who have upper body amputations, especially at my level or even higher, um, there will possibly be way more opportunities for them as well. It's frustrating needing help or assistance with something and not having any technology available for it. So this, that gets me even more excited knowing that there are other people that might have other ideas or things they want to do. Uh, that would be um, the biggest reward that, that I think I've received in my professional career as a designer and an educator. Um, just being able to see that the, the participants recognize that they're in this situation, not just to help themselves, but it's a, it's a project that's intended to help the education of our students, and even beyond that, help other people with similar disabilities. Uh, and so it is a really magical um, coming together of, of people with good intentions um, hopefully good education and at the end of the day hopefully a very tangible uh, result. We've got desktop 3D printers right now as opposed to the commercial 3D printers. Uh, it would be nice to um, be able to, to build our prototypes not just on these inexpensive desktop computers but to uh, invest in some uh, more capital equipment. Uh, ultimately we, we've been talking with um, Washington and the Veterans Administration in the hopes that we can develop this a little bit further, specifically tailoring what it is that we're doing towards veterans.